Hi, this is Tim from Latest 3DS Games, and I'm here with another quick Nintendo 3DS game unboxing. So it is Boulder Dash XL 3D, as you can see, and uh, it's a difficult to tell you exactly when this came, game came out. Uh, I'm in Europe, and uh, the date in Europe changed, um, I don't know, two or three times. It was supposedly uh, going to come out in August, then September, then October, and I think it may have come out in maybe a very limited supply in some shops. Anyway, I've, I've literally just found one today because I was going to get it a while ago but um, couldn't find it anywhere. So I can't tell you the exact date but it should be in the US as well. And it is of course a classic old school game which has been remade. And um, it actually looks pretty cool and it's actually um, pretty low price and uh, you can get it for around £15 in the UK. And as I said, I'm pretty sure it's out in the US as well. So let's just have a quick look inside. Old school Boulder Dash has been given a 3D overhaul. Uh, there are some retro levels in it though. So uh, you will still be able to play those. And they do look like a good bunch of fun. And uh, you do get some nice Nintendo points with it, which is always handy for me, as I use them regularly. And uh, there is the instructions, of course. OK, and there is the game cartridge, and um, pretty sand standard stuff there. Let's have a little look at the instructions. I don't know if there's any sort of super duper multiplayer or anything like that. So let's just have a little flick through the table of contents. I'll just have a tiny bit of gameplay. I'm not going to do a lot because I'll do a separate video. So the idea of the game is as the original. You go digging for diamonds and uh, you dislodge rocks. You have to uh, avoid them basically. And uh, it's not a lot in there. Basically it tells you about your adventure. You've got power-ups, transform boulders and you've got a choice of a couple of characters. Game modes is arcade and oh, there's also a puzzle mode as well score and then there's a retro mode there as well 25 new levels okay so it does look pretty cool arcade mode has got I'm just worried about the amount of levels but it's not too bad arcade levels got a hundred levels and then there's a puzzle level with 25 and Zen level. So there's there's plenty of levels basically and it gives you a brief moving around. Telescopic arm, push grab, pause and explore. So we're just going to turn it on very quickly and have a very quick look. Okay so here is Boulder Dash XL 3D. It's been out for PC for ages. Not sure what other formats it's on. And just creating some save data. Don't expect any super amazing graphics. They are obviously in 3D, but it is a sort of puzzly type game. Obviously it's a classic retro game, which is well, an absolute age ago, back in the 80s, 90s, somewhere around there. And uh, got an option of start, high scores, help, options. We're just going to press start. You can choose from arcade, puzzle, zen, score, retro. So I'm just going to have a quick look at arcade. And there's our cool robot. Now all we've got to do is get to the exit. Hold A to dig. Dig without moving. Okay. What we've got to watch out for is the boulders, of course. Because those are the ones that are going to cause us the difficulty. 
And it's one of those games that gets progressively more difficult. So obviously that was pretty easy. But um, as a rule, it can be, you can see the, the boulders are starting to fall. Now you've got a specific time limit, which is actually on the bottom screen. There we go. To get out of your level once you've opened the exit. And um, it is a very addictive game, um, Boulder Dash, and uh, they look like they've done a pretty good version here. I'll just look at the 3D. And you can do things like that, uh, which is quite handy. The exit's over there, so it's pretty easy, I think, to uh, get there to start with. So I'm going to leave it there. Literally, it's just a very quick look, and the graphics are pretty cutesy. I'll check out. There you go, first fail, and it does say failed. I didn't even properly look, um, but you can see obviously. And when you've got a few enemies on screen, so you can do things like that. Okay, exit opened, and through we go. So there we go. That's um, a very quick look at the game. Three very basic levels, but as you can see, it's already there's a thrown in a few enemies, and it gets progressively more difficult. It's one of those puzzles. It can be frustrating, but it's not. I don't think it's one of those annoyingly frustrating games. It's one of those ones where it just gets. It's got a nice difficulty level. So that you're going to leave it there, and this, I'll show you some more, don't worry. This has been Tim at Latest 3DS Games. Thanks for watching.